Hey, First Family, thanks so much for tuning in to this Go and Tell update. I hope you've got something warm and yummy to drink as we talk a little bit of Go and Tell. But before we do that, you know what time it is. It's the time when I ask you to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It really does help us out a bunch. So before we get too far on, uh, push whatever buttons, ring whatever bells you, you got to do uh, to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I don't want you to miss any of the updates that we give here on the Go and Tell YouTube channel. So do yourself a favor, ring and ding, ding the bell, clickety click the button and you'll be in the know when you need to know. All right, so let's move on to what we're talking about in this update. I want to kind of give you a little bit of uh, uh, information and some updates on things happening this summer, but I want to start off by reflecting on uh, the sermon we just had from yesterday's Move Together service. Now, I'm filming this on Monday, July the 8th, Yesterday we, was our Move Together service. That's where all four of our services uh, meet at one time. It's a beautiful time of worship uh, that's, that's multi-ethnic, multilingual, and it's fantastic. I love those services. I know many of you enjoy those as well. And if you were with us yesterday, uh, you heard Pastor Luigi uh, just give a passionate plea right from Scripture for what it means to be on mission uh, with God here in the world as we make disciples, as we go and tell. And I just want to reflect a little bit uh, on that sermon, uh, not because Pastor Luigi gave us something new to think about, but Pastor Luigi just really reinforced what we've been faithfully preaching and teaching on as a church for the last several years, really going all the way back to Pastor Ray, definitely with Pastor Brad, and, and certainly with Pastor Josh, and even myself. And so we are unapologetic about what it means to be FBCW, what our mission is. And so if you've not uh, picked up what we're dropping here, uh, really what scripture is dropping here, is that we exist as a church to glorify Christ as we make disciples of all nations, as we go and tell. That's it. That's the reason why we are here. That's the reason why the, the, the property sits here on Minneville Road in Woodbridge so that we can launch from here into our community and beyond to make disciples as we go and tell all for the glory of Jesus Christ. There's no other reason we exist as a church. This is it. And so it was great uh, to be there as Pastor Luigi uh, just opened up God's word and really reinforced uh, you know, the, uh, the compelling mission that God is on to save sinners uh, through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and then to, to utilize his church to be part of that mission, to go out and make disciples, to be an ambassador for Christ, to, to compel people to be reconciled to God. And I just I really enjoyed uh, how he, he talked about the fact that as a Christian, we are all on mission, and that is true. That's biblically true. That's good theology. It's good missiology, and it comes from a good interpretation of the Bible. And so, again, nothing new, but just a great revisit of what we are all about here at FBCW. If you didn't get a chance to watch the sermon, uh, I got the link to the video in the description. You can check that out. I encourage you to do so. But moving on from there, I just want to tell you some ways that we are fulfilling our mission as a church, specifically this summer. And before I do that, a little sip of Earl Grey. I got to admit, I'm a little bit uh, parched, and that is because this is actually the second time I have shot this video because I made the mistake the first time of not checking my sound. And I talked and I waxed eloquently and nothing was picked up. So unless you could read lips, you could not get anything out of the video. So I'm recording it for the second time. And quite frankly, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little dry and cotton mouth. Nothing a little Earl Grey tea cannot fix. 
But let me move on to one of the great things we're doing this summer. I'm so excited about this. Uh, you know about this if you've been uh, paying attention in the service, but also watching this channel. And that is Love Local Kids Edition, which gets kicked off tonight. We have, over the next three weeks or so, uh, multiple opportunities where our members, where you guys, are going to be out in the community uh, with a Backyard Bible Club bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ to your neighbors and your friends. And I am so excited about this because this is what it means biblically to go and tell. You go and you tell. So we're going to be praying fervently and consistently for the next three weeks. From now to the end of the month, I need you to pray daily for these Back Your Bible Clubs here through Love Local Kids Edition. Like I said, we start tonight at 6.30. So whether you're watching this before tonight or you're watching it after, it's not too late to pray. Make a point. Write it down somewhere. Uh, we're going to be posting some social media prayer prompts along the way. Be sure you're following our Facebook and Instagram accounts for that. But pray for the children in attendance. Pray for the parents that are going to be connected with. And pray, of course, for the teams. Um, that are going to be leading this and, and sharing and connecting because this is this is what we do as a church. We get out of the four walls and we take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the people who don't have the truth of Jesus, who need the gospel, who need to be saved. And we bring it to our neighbors, we bring it to our friends, our families, our coworkers, our classmates. And we take it even all the way to the ends of the earth so that all the nations can hear and have a chance to respond. And that we are doing exactly, we are fulfilling our mission through Love Local Kids Edition. And so what, what you've heard us say, we are doing through this. And so if you're not involved in one of the teams, at least, at least, at least commit to praying for these opportunities, these backyard Bible clubs that are happening. Because this is just the beginning of an ongoing go-and-tell process uh, that is going to involve a number of specific follow-up opportunities from now all the way uh, really through Christmas and beyond. Uh, so we think about go-and-tell really as, as links in a chain and not as standalone events. We are looking at relationships and building that and communicating the gospel. And to do that, you have to have ongoing opportunities. And your, your staff here at FBCW works together to create those opportunities. And so uh, you are part of that when you get behind these efforts and when you participate in these, these other secondary follow-up opportunities. Uh, for example, on August the 2nd, it's a Friday night, we have a big family fun night where we're going to uh, invite these families uh, that we've connected with in the community onto campus for a little bit of a deeper connection, as well as a lot of fun and some food. And so you can be a part of that as well. Uh, we've got Christianity Explored getting teed up uh, to start September 11th for those that we connect with this summer who are unbelievers and skeptics who want to have their questions answered. Uh, we've got things happening in next gen. We've got ha things happening in adult ministries. Uh, we have things happening in go and tell all of it kind of riding the wave of, of love local kids edition uh, into the fall through the fall into the winter as we get uh, our focus on uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And yeah, we do think that far in advance with these, uh, these things because uh, otherwise we're, we're just kind of spinning our wheels and reinventing the wheel every time we turn around. But with this, it's strategic, it's purposeful, and it flows towards a, a specific destination, a target that's out there that we can all get behind. So be in prayer for these things. Uh, it is the beginning of what we hope God is going to be doing uh, through saving our, our neighbors, uh, doing amazing work in our communities, uh, moving on uh, throughout the, you know, the next few weeks and months. So please be in prayer for that. Uh, I do want to tell you about an interesting opportunity that is new to us and is going to be new to a lot of you. Um, I've heard of this uh, before I was made aware of this particular opportunity, but I didn't really know what all that was going to be about. And so it was kind of uh, an interesting 
novelty at first, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's the digital mission trip. No, I didn't stutter. I said digital mission trip. Now, I've been on a lot of personal in-person mission trips. I get on a plane and go somewhere. Or I hop in a van and drive uh, across state lines or something. Uh, you've done some of that as well. But I've never taken a digital mission trip. But I'm taking one this August, this first week of August. And let me tell you about this opportunity. You may want to take a digital mission trip with me after you've heard about it. Here's what it is. You know that in just a few weeks, the Olympic Games are going to kick off in Paris. Now, I love the Olympics. I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I actually had the chance when I was in college uh, to go as a spectator uh, to the 96 Olympics back in, uh, in Atlanta. And that was such a memorable experience. Well, I get a chance to, in a way, go digit digitally to the Olympics this year in Paris. Now, the International Mission Board is going to have missionaries, and they're going to have other partners there on the ground doing evangelism at the Olympics. I mean, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people. I don't know what the numbers are going to look like. It's a lot of people at the Olympics, as I can testify to. But they're going to be there trying to have as many spiritual conversations and hopefully gospel conversations as they can. But here's the deal about events. It's hard to get into a meaningful and deep conversation. It's not impossible, but it is difficult. Here's why. Because your focus is on the reason why you're at that event. So, for example, if you're going to a football game, you're there for the football game. If you're there uh, for a parade, you're there for the parade. If you're attending the Olympics, you're there for the Olympics. And so a lot of times what happens in, in events like this is that you have these brief encounters that don't go deep. Well, the IMB is aware of this, as they should, and they've planned a good strategy for these conversations to be able to be ongoing beyond the initial point of contact. Here's what they're doing. They know that a lot of the people they're going to initially contact with, they're going to revisit that conversation, maybe back in their hotel room, maybe at a restaurant over lunch or something like that. And they're going to be able to go to essentially like a digital hub, like a website that is going to offer them gospel resources and Bibles in their language. Remember, this is the nations going to be in Paris. But it's also going to give them an opportunity to chat with believers and ask questions. And that is where we come in on our digital mission trip. They need people to man the online chats. And so here's how this works. If you're interested in it, uh, I've included the link in the description. You can click that and you can sign up with IMB. Uh, what they do is they are going to train uh, those that, that, um, that, that want to participate, tell you all about how to do this, how to engage, how to have conversation. They do all that for you. It's also online, so you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, you can do it on your own at your own pace. Uh, but then what they want from you is to give them a week. Give them a week, maybe two if you really want to do this uh, a lot. But give them a week. And then during that week, twice a day, log in to like the, the hub and jump in the chat and talk to these people, answer their questions, share the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's really it. That's it. Um, it's, it's, it's one of those things that you can tailor around your work schedule. You don't need to even take off work. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're kind of a, the, the nine to five grind and you're in the 95 traffic, I mean, you can set aside 30 minutes early morning. You can do it some over your lunch break. You can, you can do some uh, once you get home after you've had some dinner and you put the kids to bed or whatever. Uh, if you're a stay-at-home mom or you work from home, uh, you, can, you can weave this into your schedule. Uh, it, is a, it is a very customizable mission trip through the IMB. It, in fact, it is a true mission trip. Uh, when you sign up, one of the things you're going to have to do is fill out an application with the IMB, which uh, I will be doing later today as my next step in this process. And so I'm inviting you, if this uh, sounds like something you would like to be a part of, um, 
join me on a digital mission trip at the Olympics this summer. Uh, there's several weeks you can pick from, uh, work it around your schedule. It's a great opportunity, and perhaps this will lead to more opportunities uh, like this in the future uh, with our IMB missionaries uh, as they do some, some outreach that involves a digital component. Super excited about it. So check it out if you're interested. If I can help you uh, answer more questions, let me know. One other thing I want to tell you before I give you some special information is just a reminder about backpacks and school supplies. Uh, we do this during the summer uh, in conjunction with Send Relief. Uh, this is a strengthening communities um, outreach of compassion ministry, and we have partnered with the Way City Church on the backpacks for the, the specific kids at Belmont. But we're also collecting the school supplies for teachers in our area. So if you commit to a backpack, please make sure you have that filled backpack back to the church by Sunday, July 28th. Make sure you include the other half of the commitment card in there with it, uh, as well as your note of encouragement to the student uh, that, that is in the instructions there on the commitment card. Everything you need to know is there. Uh, so bring it back filled, ready to go by the 28th. And also, uh, school supplies. If you want to buy school supplies to bless some area teachers, pick up a list uh, from the sin relief area in the lobby. Uh, fill up that wooden bin. Let it spill over to the floor. As, as How many teachers we can bless depends on how many school supplies we collect. So go crazy. Buy a bunch and, and, and fill it up to it overflows. Uh, the peanut butter, uh, it's sitting here in my office. You may have seen a video uh, last week. Uh, with me, uh, with those jars of peanut butter. We're going to, we're going to deliver those uh, up to Transformation Center after we're done with Love Local, because right now we just don't have the time to make the run up there. Uh, so uh, we'll give you an update once we do that and as we bless that feeding ministry there. Also a sin relief partner to us. But I'm going to wrap this thing up. I've probably gone longer than, than what uh, you, you may have wanted. But there's so many great things that God is doing in and through our church. I just wanted to, to share these things with you. But one more thing, and this is a teaser. You're getting this because you subscribe to this channel. You watch these videos. So I want to give you something before anybody else knows about it. Uh, this January, coming up January 2025, Pastor Josh and I have blocked off a week in January when we are going to get on a plane, we're going to fly overseas, and we're going to participate in a vision trip to look at a possible brand new opportunity for us as FBCW to make disciples of all nations. This will be in addition to our work with the Wisdom Seekers, which is going to continue on even though we physically can't go there because of the conflict in the region. We are still very much engaged with that. But it's been a while since we've had an additional option for us to engage the nations. And here's the thing. This opportunity that we're looking at, not only is it going to help us engage the nations there, it's going to help us actually better engage the nations here. And so this is going to be something that uh, is going to have tremendous um, mission-like value for us as a church and we cannot wait to share you, excuse me, share with you more of the details in the coming weeks and months. I can't now. We don't have all of them yet. But here's the deal. Nobody else knows this is happening but Pastor Josh, myself, and now you. So be in prayer starting now for this vision trip happening in January of 2025. And look ahead to the details. Uh, and when we have them, we're going to share them church-wide and we'll do a special video right here on this YouTube channel. So don't forget, if you've not subscribed, you're going to miss out on hearing it first. So subscribe and be a part of that. Thank you guys so much for all that you do in praying and making possible our Go and Tell ministry at this church. I can't wait to continue to see what God is going to be doing in the coming weeks and months as we make disciples as we go and tell. So I'll see you next time right here on this channel with more Go and Tell updates.